We're now ready to talk about matrix algebra. That will be the topic of chapter four. Let's start with some notation. Um, we're going to call a, a matrix if it's a rectangular array of real numbers. You've seen them before, especially in the last chapter. We'll look at matrices in this chapter without um, talking about a specific linear system or anything like that. All right, so the size of a matrix, if the matrix has um, M rows and N columns, is given as M by N. The IJ entry, AIJ of a matrix A, is a number in the ith row and the jth column. So here, this matrix um, has M rows and it does have N columns. So it is an M by N matrix. Um, if you look at what is going on in the ith row and the jth column, that's where you'll find the element AIJ. All right, so when we talk about the IJ entry or AIJ, we mean the one in the ith row, jth column. Always row first, column second. So if I want to give you this matrix without actually writing it out um, completely, what I could do is I could put the square brackets, just the same, and I can give you the formula for the IJ entry inside and then give you the size of the matrix outside. All right, so two matrices, I'm giving them to you in that form. So A is an M by N, B is an R by S, and AIJ are the entries of A and BIJ are the entries of B. We'll say that these two matrices are equal if, first of all, A and B have the same size. So that means that M should be equal to R, they have the same number of rows, and N should be equal to S, they have the same number of columns. You would also need that for every combination of I and J, A, I, J, and B, I, J need to be identical. All right, so if you have both same size and identical entries, then you have equal matrices. All right, so let's try to play with these definitions a bit more. Let's say I want to figure out what I mean when I write this. All right, what does A equal I plus J two by three mean? All right, so let's look at the first part. Two by three, that's the size of the matrix. So it's telling me that I have, let me just be a bit higher. I have two rows, three columns. So here, two rows, that's the first number. Number of column is the second. So if I had to write out all the entries, I'd have the one, one entry, the one, two entry, the one, three entries. Those are the three entries in the first row. And then I would have A21, A22, A23, all the entries in the second row. And now I plus J is the formula for AIJ here. That's what I'm given for this specific matrix. So if I want to figure out what A11 is, I need to use that formula with I and J equal 1. So I get 1 plus 1, which gives me 2. A12 will be 1 plus 2, which gives 3. A13 would be 1 plus 3, which gives me 4. So that first row would be 2, 3, 4. And we keep going, A21 would be 2 plus 1, which is 3. A22 will be 2 plus 2, which is 4. A23 would be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So now I get 3, 4, 5. So writing what I had over here is the same as writing this explicitly, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. All right, in example 4.1.2, we'll look a bit more about what it means 
um, for matrices to be equal. So I'm giving you pairs of matrices and you have to tell me when those would be equal. All right, so first condition is that they have the same size. And in this case, they're both two by two. So I don't have any size issues here. And so then I need same entries. And so the one one entries need to be the same. One equals one, that's fine. The one two entries need to be the same. The two one entries need to be the same. And the final one is the two two entries need to be the same. So I need all of these four equations to be true at the same time. And so the only possible value is minus three. And so here they would be equal when x equals minus three and that's it. All right, in part B, I'm asked for these two matrices, C and D, when are they equal? And it's tempting to look and say, well, x needs to be minus one and every other entry works and so x is minus one. But that would be wrong. Why would it be wrong? Well, first condition over here for matrices to be equal is they have the same size. In this case, um, C has two rows and three columns, while D has two rows and four columns. They have different size. And so they're never equal. Even when X is equal to minus one, they would not be equal.